uh, Adib from Bangladesh. I know there is no contradiction in the Quran and deep thinking about the matters of unsin is a bidah. So my question is, in Quran, um, chapter number 22, verse number um, 47, it says, a day with your Lord is indeed uh, like a thousand years by your counting. It also says in Quran, chapter number um, 32, verse number 5, that the extent of a day is a thousand years. But um, in Surah Marij, uh, chapter number 50, um, verse number 4, uh, it says the uh, angels and spirit will ascend to him during a day, which is the day of judgment, we, uh, the extent of the which is 50,000 years. So basically, my question is, um, in the sight of Allah, a day is a thousand years um, or a 50,000 years. I'm a bit confused about it. Okay, I will answer inshallah. Adib from Bangladesh, he says, I have a confusion where there is mentioned in the Quran, in three locations, once in Surah Al-Ma'arij, Allah describes that the length of the day of judgment, the day of judgment is 50,000 years. And in two other places in the Quran, Allah says that a day at the side of Allah is equivalent to a thousand years of what we know. So he says, I know there's no confusion and no contradiction in the Quran, so what to do with these two days, first of all, there is never a contradiction in the Quran and the authentic Sunnah. This is not possible because all is from Allah Azza wa Jal. And if it were from any other than Allah, you would have found contradictions and a lot of it. So this point, you have to get it out of the way. There is no possible contradiction in the Quran or between the Quran and the authentic Sunnah. So where does the contradiction come? It comes from your own whims and desires, from your own intellect, from your own visual deception or understanding. When you see a pen in a glass of water and you look at it and you see it as if it's broken, and it's not. So it's your eyes fooling you. It's your ears fooling you. It's your understanding fooling you. Secondly, you have to understand that your belief in Quran compels you to take it and understand it and believe in it unconditionally. And this is what the companions did. May Allah be pleased with them. A man came to Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma. Who is Ibn Abbas? He is the cousin of the Prophet والسلام. Okay, what else? He's the one whom the Prophet prayed for and say, Oh Allah, teach him the understanding of the Quran. Grant him fiqh in uh, uh, the religion and grant him understanding and inter the interpretation of the Quran. So he was by far one of the greatest scholars of the companions. A man came to him and asked him, Allah mentioned that a day is equivalent to a thousand at the side of Allah Azza wa Jal from among you, the, the years you count. A day is equivalent to a thousand years. One day is equivalent to a thousand years. So Ibn Abbas asked the man, what about the verse where Allah says that a day is equivalent to 50,000? Now the guy came to ask about the one day equals 1,000. Ibn Abbas brought up another ayah where a day is equivalent to 50,000. So the man said, hey, I'm asking you. That's why I'm here. Ibn Abbas himself said, these are two days that Allah mentioned in his Quran and Allah knows about them. He was so afraid of talking about the Quran without knowledge. And he is who? He is Ibn Abbas, Abdullah Ibn Abbas, the cousin of the Prophet and one of the greatest scholars of all the companions which shows you that when it comes to the Qur'an, one has to refrain from casting doubts or talking without knowledge. But if you go to the books of Tafsir, you will find that a lot of scholars talked about this. And they said, you understand the Qur'an from the Hadith, and the Hadith explains to us 
that the 50,000 years is referring to the day of judgment. So the length of the day of judgment is as 50,000 years of our counting. Though at the side of Allah, it's a single day. Everything is done and finished. But if we as humans were to count it in our times, it would have taken 50,000 years to end. And the rest of the two verses talking about one day is equivalent to a thousand, which is a day where Allah Azza wa Jal takes care of the affairs of the universe, where the, Allah's commands descend from the heavens to the earth and then goes back again. And we were told in a hadith that the distance between the heavens and the earth is a journey of a 500 years in our calculations. So 500 years going down, 500 years going up, this is a thousand. But at the side of Allah, it's a day. It's, it's just nothing. It's, it's so fast and quick. It is just a period of time. So the days at the side of Allah Azza wa Jal to us differ from the day of judgment, 50,000 years, to the other days which are business as usual, and this is equivalent to a thousand years, and Allah knows best. It's